Osgood Schlatter's disease, also known as tibial tubercle apophysitis, is a common condition that affects young athletes, particularly those who participate in sports that involve running, jumping, and quick changes in direction. It is characterized by pain and swelling just below the knee, where the patellar tendon attaches to the tibial tubercle. The tibial tubercle is a bony bump located at the top of the shin bone, just below the kneecap. During periods of rapid growth, the bones in the body can grow at a faster rate than the muscles and tendons, leading to tension and stress at the growth plate where the tendon attaches to the bone. This can result in inflammation, pain, and swelling in the area. Symptoms of Osgood Schlatter's disease typically include pain and tenderness at the tibial tubercle, especially during physical activity such as running, jumping, or climbing stairs. The pain may also be present when pressing on the area or during activities that require bending or straightening the knee. Swelling and a bony bump may also be visible at the site of the tibial tubercle. Diagnosing Osgood Schlatter's disease is usually based on a physical examination and a review of the patient's medical history. X-rays may be ordered to rule out other potential causes of knee pain, such as fractures or growth plate injuries. Treatment for Osgood Schlatter's disease typically involves rest, ice, compression, and elevation rice, as well as anti-inflammatory medications to help reduce pain and swelling. In some cases, physical therapy may be recommended to help strengthen the muscles around the knee and improve flexibility. A knee brace or strap may also be used to help support the patellar tendon and reduce stress on the tibial tubercle during physical activity. In severe cases, when conservative treatments are not effective, surgery may be considered to remove the bony bump and relieve pressure on the growth plate. It is important for young athletes with Osgood Schlatter's disease to listen to their bodies and avoid activities that exacerbate their symptoms. Rest and proper rehabilitation are key to managing the condition and preventing long-term complications. With proper treatment and care, most individuals with Osgood Schlatter's disease can return to their normal activities within a few weeks to a few months. Preventing Osgood Slatter's disease involves maintaining proper form and technique during physical activity, as well as gradually increasing the intensity and duration of training to avoid overuse injuries. Strengthening the muscles around the knee, particularly the quadriceps and hamstrings, can also help reduce stress on the patellar tendon and tibial tubercle. In conclusion, Osgood Slatter's disease is a common condition that affects young athletes, particularly those who participate in sports that involve running, jumping, and quick changes in direction. It is characterized by pain and swelling just below the knee where the patellar tendon attaches to the tibial tubercle. With proper diagnosis, treatment, and rehabilitation, most individuals with Osgood Schlatter's disease can return to their normal activities and prevent long-term complications.